What's the most ridiculous fact you know? There are 22 stars in the Paramount logo. I'm just waiting for a pub trivia night where that will be the question that wins me $100. And there are 12 flowers on an Oreo. I probably wouldn't know this, but I got this question at two different trivia nights. The number one buyer of explosives in the world is the US military. Number two is Disney. This sounds terrifying until you realize it's just for fireworks. But I mean they could be storing up secretly and in the next few years DreamWorks is going down. The French author Georges Perec wrote an entire novel without using the letter E. Gilbert Adair translated it into English without using the letter E. Perec wrote a follow-up novel, Les Revenants, in which E is the only vowel used. When you die your enzymes digest yourself. The pronunciation of Arkansas is defined by the state legislature due to the first U.S. senators representing Arkansas disagreeing on how to pronounce the state name. Nectar can ferment in hot weather, and bees that consume this can effectively get drunk. Drunk bees aren't allowed back in the hive. Pearlfish live in the anus of sea cucumbers. Mozart wrote the Night Queen aria so his sister-in-law could show off. The piece is so good that it is included in a collection of music from Earth on both the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 spacecraft. And he wrote Come Scaglio because he hated the singer who was going to perform it and knew the note changes and it would make her head bob like a chicken. Also, Lech Mitch im Arsch. Fun Mozart Facts Kangaroos have two vaginal canals. Only the females. But that does mean the average kangaroo has one vagina. One of the oldest tablets from Mesopotamia is a customer complaint. There is even a whole collection that was discovered. So some dude did a terrible job trading copper and kept all the complaints he got about it in a room specifically built to house the complaints. There was a tiny self-declared Republic of Canada that lasted for a few months in the winter of 1851 to 1852. What happened to it? It froze. Ah geez, sorry. If you stand at the base of the clock tower in London commonly called Big Ben with a digital radio tuned to the BBC, you'll hear the sound of the bell striking the hour via the radio before you hear it live. In other words, sound travels faster digitally from the microphone in the tower to the BBC studio to their transmitter to your radio, than it does analogically from the bell to you. Hang on you're burying the lead here, that sound is a live recording? Figured it was just a recording gimmick. Oklahoma state vegetable is a watermelon. But. Yep. Your intestines know how get back in the right place. When doing abdominal surgery and the intestines need to be moved or rearranged, the doctor will just stuff them back in. They will then wriggle back into place. Imagine a surgeon moves your colon by an inch, and the colon is just like, absolutely f***ing not. Well, he's a surly drunk. Ants take 250 power naps a day. Apparently in Korean fairy tales instead of saying once upon a time they usually say back when tigers used to smoke. I don't remember where I came across it, but the phrase back when trees could walk and stones could talk is my favorite fairy tale starter. And it apparently comes from a time in which tobacco was so cheap that literally everyone used to smoke. The 1980s? Earlier. 60s. Packs were 20 cents. A penny slash a stick. The first time I quit it was because they had gone up to $0.40 slash pack and I wasn't going to throw so much money away. You will die if you consume the liver of a polar bear. That much vitamin A is too much for humans to handle. You'll also die if a polar bear consumes your liver. Snails can feel their shells, so if you step on one they feel the entire thing. Now I feel bad, that must hurt. If it helps, you can pat their shell. I've remembered this since I had a Snapple over I dunno 10 years ago. Snapple Fact 777, Cat have two sets of vocal cords, one for meowing and one for purring. Thank you for letting me get that out. A human body can produce enough carbon upon cremation to make 200 pencils. You can be your own souvenir at your funeral. Spoken like a true Ferengi. The Grand Nagus would be proud. Sounds like a good way to set yourself up for some kind of weird soul magic if you ask me. I don't trust bitches not to write some weird voodoo spell with my bone pencil and summon my soul to do their bidding. Sounds like a fun after death hobby. 
Gordon's Gin's label reads world's number one international gin. This is because it's the world's number two selling gin. The world's number one selling gin is a brand that is only sold in the Philippines, which sells so much that despite only selling in that country it outsells every other gin brand globally. Sounds like I need to make a trip to the Philippines. That when the Milky Way and Andromeda collide, even though the both have hundreds of billions of stars, the likelihood of any two stars colliding is astronomically low. Everything is unimaginably far apart. Edit. Credit to you slash Dodge Days Wars bringing up the fact that stars are more concentrated in the middle if the galaxies so collisions are more likely. If any astrophysicists are here please chime in. Also Curse Jessic's latest video said that gas clouds from both galaxies will likely collide reigniting star formation, which is at an all-time low. It'll look pretty cool though. Cows moo with regional accents. Lots of animals have regional accents. I hope my dog has a regional accent. I like to imagine German dogs woof in German. They woof in Germany. La moo. Das moo. Moo. Moo has. Moo has mich. Moo hast mich gefragt. Many Buddhist statues are Greek in origin. Why? It all started with Alexander the Great. His empire was short-lived, but it has left a lot of Greek influence in Asia and Africa. Coptic Christians in Egypt use an alphabet based on Greek in church. Two famous schools of art for Buddhist statues are Gandhara School of Art and Madara School of Art. The Gandhara one is Greek in origin, around Bactria, and Madara one was Indian style. A day on Venus lasts longer than a year on Venus. Venus also spins backwards, so the sun rises in the west and sets in the east. This would make my commutes to work great. No sun in my eyes both ways. A guy can dream. Yeah, but it'd take half a year. If you smell fish and no one's cooking, it's an electrical fire. Can confirm? I read this somewhere, so when I started smelling a rather fishy odor that I couldn't tie to anything, I started sniffing various electricals and realized my electronic knitting machine was dangerously overheating. As I would have left it on overnight to avoid losing the place in the pattern, I'm very glad I read that random piece of info somewhere. The longest female beard was measured at 36 centimeters or just above one foot. Before the invention of light bulb, people slept an average of about 10 hours every night. They also often didn't sleep through the whole night. A lot of cultures had first sleep and second sleep with a wake-up time in the middle to stoke the fire, have a snack, talk, etc. Edit, yes, it was also business time. Bring back two sleeps. And then two breakfasts? I don't think he knows about second breakfast. Your eyes have a different immune system than the rest of your body. If they knew about each other, your eyes would basically start dissolving, as your immune system attacks your own eyes. Fear not, your brain won't let that happen. Excuse me WTF? Basically your eyes are their own closed containment inside your body. Your regular antibodies would treat the jelly material of your eyes as a foreign agent and flood that area with white blood cells so hard your eyeballs would just dissolve into pus. Now tell me the name of the disease that makes that happen so I have another thing to be scared of. Being hit in the eye with a rubber bullet. If they don't remove the busted eye fast enough your immune system will attack your other eye and you'll lose it too.